This is the EcoWorthy Server Rack Style Home Power Backup System. If you're tired of unexpected power outages paired with high summer energy bills, or looking to equip your RV, cabin, or simply want a budget-friendly and reliable power backup solution, you might want to check this one out. Welcome back to Space Age Tech, where we look at the tech that pushes the limits. Today we'll be reviewing the EcoWorthy battery system specs and set up with a 10,000 watt all-in-one inverter for a fully integrated experience. The system we have here is made up of four batteries. Each battery is 5.12 kilowatt hours for a total capacity of 20.48 kilowatt hours. First, let's take a look at the unboxing. Each battery is individually packaged as you see here, so we'll only be showing you one. Everything is nicely padded, and the first thing we see here will be our handy manuals and connectors. Aside from the instruction manual, we have an app quick guide. This will guide you through the setup of the app so you can control and monitor your devices remotely. We also have our parallel cables, our battery to battery communication cables, and our grounding cables. We also have some protective covers for our contact points. Each of these batteries is 5.12 kilowatt hours. These are lithium iron phosphate batteries weighing in at 94.8 pounds. They're by no means light, but super compact at 22.9 by 19.02 inches and only 5.24 inches tall, which makes them ideal for this server rack style setup as we will see today. The casing for this battery is all metal, making it super rugged and sturdy without any flimsy plastic parts. This battery is all business and functionality, and we really love that. Not to mention that EcoWorthy is offering a 10-year warranty on the battery and a 1-year warranty on the inverter. We have some pretty robust handles here to help with carrying the battery. The handles we see here are actually an upgrade from a previous version. EcoWorthy has redesigned them to be sturdier and not easily bent. In contrast with other systems we've seen, you'll notice that we don't have output plugs on this battery directly as it's meant for integration with your grid. Now let's take a look at our inverter. The first thing we'll see here are our tools and our connector cables. This is a 10,000 watt inverter that acts as the intermediary between our panel, solar if we have it, and the battery system. It performs three functions, as inverter, controller, and charger. This specific model can output up to 10,000 watts at 240 volts. This inverter needs to be wall mounted indoors and in close proximity to our electric panel. It also has a full metal casing. We also have our parallel battery cables. We'll use these to interconnect our batteries and make them come together as a synchronized system. The first two cables we see here are our input and output cables that go between our inverter and our battery system. And our next three sets of cables connect our batteries together. Lastly, we have our four layer battery rack. This is a server style rack designed to withstand the weight of our four batteries. It's made up of galvanized steel with a scratch resistant coating and can support up to 800 pounds. This one is four layers, but there's also a six layer version available. Overall, this helps to hold all your batteries in one place and minimize the footprint by being super compact. This rack has an open design, which allows the batteries to breathe and disperse energy easily, which is super important for optimal battery operation. The version we have here does not have wheels, but there are some options with wheels for added flexibility. Here's our complete server rack kit. It might seem like just a pile of metal rods, but we promise it will come together. 
Here's our battery rack magically assembled. This is not a very hard task. If you've ever assembled furniture, you should be just fine. Let's mount one of the batteries. As you may know, these are 95 pounds more or less, so it'd be wise to have additional help to load these into the rack. The battery just slides onto the slot and gets bolted on to ensure stability. Bolting down the batteries is a great idea. It keeps the system safe and stable. So you don't have to worry about the batteries moving when you shift the rack to a different place or if there's an earthquake, for example. We'll repeat the process for the rest of the batteries. Here's our completed battery rack, fully loaded and interconnected. And because we've interconnected all of them, they'll now act as a single unit. And here's where we will mention that any electrical installation should be done by a trained professional. In our experience, the cost to do this can vary a bit by location and electrician. So our expert advice is to shop around uh, a lot. This is not necessarily a foolproof system, so it's not worth it to risk trying to do this on your own. And when it's all said and done, this is the setup you can expect. We have all our batteries interconnected, then hooked up our inverter, and the inverter in turn is connected to our electrical panel and solar if applicable. Here we've removed our terminal cover so you can see the system configuration. On the far left, we can see our AC connections. We can use AC power to charge our batteries, then use that power to fit back into the grid during power outages or peak times. Next, we have our communication cables, which allow us to monitor and configure our system remotely. Next to that, we have our battery connections. These feed directly into our battery system. And finally, we have our solar connectors. And because it's all interconnected, we can easily configure it to fit our needs. From battery charging time split between solar charging and AC charging, to battery usage times and backup modes, and more from the palm of your hand with the app or control panel. After assembly, the most critical moment is powering on the equipment. Enabling the batteries is a two-step process. First, we need to turn on our breaker for each of the batteries, then push the on button for each as well. This is really the moment of truth, and it's where we'll see all our batteries starting to charge. So far, it looks like our hard work paid off. By charging your battery backup system during off-peak hours or from your solar panels and using that energy during peak hours, you'll be able to reduce your electricity bill. Over time, the system will pay for itself. And remember that this system is modular, so we can add more batteries as needed. With this configuration, we're at 20 kilowatt hours, but we can extend this to over 76 kilowatt hours. Each battery can be replaced individually if it happens to fail. But with a lifetime of over 6,000 charge cycles, that should be way off into the future. Let's take a look at our inverter screen. This is going to be our control center where we can see what's happening with our system, whether we're charging or giving energy, and where we can configure all of our settings. If there are any error messages, we'd be able to see them here as well. One of the great aspects of this system and this inverter is that everything can be automated. You don't have to remember to flip on any switches. All our settings can be controlled from the inverter screen or from the app. At the bottom of the screen, as you can see here, we have a few control buttons, including our settings, up and down buttons, and selection button. The menu navigation is pretty intuitive. The control panel is definitely robust enough to be used on its own, but you also have the option to use the app to configure and monitor your system, maybe even both at various points. Let's take a look at what happens in the inverter screen when we draw energy from our battery backup system. Here we're using our battery backup system to power a heater. On the inverter screen, we can see how much energy this is drawing from our system. 
nothing really when you compare it to the total capacity of our system, which is 10,000 watts at any single point. And if you need a bigger system, this can be gradually scaled up to a massive 76.8 kilowatt hours. So what did you think? Are you ready to get your own eco-worthy battery backup system? If so, check the links in the description. We love that with this system, what you see is what you get. Super compact, solid metal body, no flimsy parts, and really made to last. Additionally, this eco-worthy system is super affordable and scalable. So take a look at the links in the description to check them out. We'll be reviewing this and other amazing technology in our upcoming videos. If you enjoyed this one, please like and subscribe. It really helps our channel grow.